Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of the August Sacred Travelers reading for the fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So I got cut off at 30 minutes. This is part two. Um, it's going to be very short. At least I think it is because um, I'm on a time schedule here. Um, but it left off with the message um, that was coming forth as it relates to discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Now, I'm all about truth. Some of you are all about truth. As I was mentioning on the first video, right, part one, is that some of you are um, in a relationship and there's some shit you need to know. Spirit wants to reveal some stuff to you as it relates to that person you've been dealing with that is um, cheating behind your back or perhaps maybe you're being betrayed by someone that you know. Could be a relative, hey, could be a friend, foe, or whatever, okay? But you need to find out some shit. So you stand in the light of truth. There's some things that spirit wants to show you and reveal to you. Even some things about yourself. Doesn't have to be negative or anything of that nature for some of you. Now, this particular card, when I was pulling it, I sensed that this was for Sagittarians. But it could be for Aries, Leo, or Sagittarians. Hey, whatever. It's for fire signs, okay? If it fits, then go ahead and put it on. Put on the light. Turn on the light. Trust the divine to shine the light to give you some clarity and insight even about where you need to go. Um, perhaps somebody is backbiting on your job. Um, perhaps spirit wants to let you know you need to quit that job. There's some truth that spirit wants to reveal to you, right? So, um, nevertheless, um, you stand in the light. You see it sunny out. And um, they're smiling. There's a gentleman that's pointing a finger trying to show the other gentlemen the way to go and that's what spirit wants to do for you wants to show you the way to go so what i'm going to do real quick i'm going to go to the god book discovering truth i didn't use the god book for any of the other messages many i know you're ready to go in but just give me a moment okay now this is the meaning of this message okay again i'm using the sacred traveler deck by denise lynn i believe in giving reverence to the author of the decks because when they were inspired to write it, it came from above, okay? So I don't always wanna put my own interpretation on things unless it goes along with what's in here. So it says here, listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul. See, I said that, I think on the other video. Some of you already know that this man is cheap or this woman is trying to get your money. She ain't really thinking about you. She just wants some shit from you using it in other words but it says here listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul even if those around you don't agree I've been having to listen to the wisdom of my soul when some people around me don't really agree with the truth I've been spitting but the truth is the truth I don't care if it hurts you it's the truth I ain't trying to hurt you I'm trying to tell you the truth in love and sometimes you I'd be pushed over the edge where it sounds like I'm insensitive. But the truth is the truth. You can say the truth in the sweetest little tone and people will still get pissed off because they don't want to hear the truth because it slices. It slices. It cuts. And they don't want to hear it. That ain't my problem. But trust your instincts. Be yourself. Whatever the situation and respond from the authentic place that is within you. Be, spark, be starkly honest with yourself, okay? See, there are some of you that, look, you need to discover some truth about your damn self before you can start talking about somebody else. Some of y'all got big mouths. Y'all always wanting to spit truth out and tell other folks business instead of dealing with your own shit. I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't shoot me. Well, you can't any damn way. I'm just telling you the truth. But anyway, speak your truth. That's what God spoke to me years ago. Speak your truth, Beverly, and they will come. That's what I'm doing here online, across social media. Speaking my truth, and people get pissed off. They come for me all the time. 
And I have to clap back on that ass with the truth. More truth. Oh, so you want more truth. You want me to clap that ass even harder with some more truth. When are you going to learn? But anyhow, enough about me. Live your truth. So speak your truth. Stay in your ground. Speak your truth, honey, even if it hurts. I had to speak my truth, honey. It put me on the damn streets, child, about a month ago. Temporarily homeless because I was speaking my truth. And they didn't like it. Because the Holy Spirit was revealing to me that a motherfucker was trying to betray me. Get down, Minnie. Bottom line, that ain't about me. It's about you. Speak your truth and live your truth, okay? Don't give a shit about what others say. It doesn't say this in the guidebook. That's my own ter interpretation. Walk your truth. So speak your truth, live your truth, and walk it out. Oh, walk it out. Remember that song? Oh, walk it out. Yeah. Listen to your inner guidance and follow it. You radiate the energy of truth. I love that. You radiate like myself. You radiate truth. And people don't like you. My aunt told me that when I was a child. She said, Beverly, honey, people are not going to like you. That came back to me this week. Thank you, Auntie. Well, she's over there to my left. You can't see her. And my mother's over to the right. Yeah. They're still here, even though they have left this fleshly realm. Yeah, they're still here. That's another message for another day. Because some of you all don't realize that when your loved ones leave, they're still here with you. You can still communicate with them. But I don't have time to teach that today. But it says here, you radiate the energy of truth to others so that they can find their truth. You see, when you find your truth and you walk your truth, speak your truth, live your truth, you give others a chance to live theirs. How about that? The sacred traveler wants you to know that if you are facing a decision and your mind says one thing and your heart says another, follow the dictates of your heart and you'll be on the right path. If you get a nudge to speak to someone or go in a particular direction, don't hesitate. Honey, when I get a nudge, a spiritual nudge, I'm going to do a video on that because I did an old one on my old channel, Inspirational Life Guru. You can find it over there because this is a new channel. I talked about spiritual nudges. When I get a nudge, I am ready to go straight out the gate. No hesitating. Sometimes I'll be ahead of God, and if so, I'll just pull back, pull back, a lean back, a lean back. Whew, moving along. Follow the guidance from the dictates of your heart. Your head may be telling you, this doesn't make sense. Just like my ex-husband thinks that my vision that I have is just an illusion for a spiritual enriching center. Do you think I give a shit what he thinks? Hell no. Because I'm going by the dictates of my heart that's telling me that I'm supposed to start a spiritual enriching center. And I have. I have the whole vision for it. Fuck what he says. He's just upset because his ministry failed. Because of his wrongdoings shitty ways, infidelity or whatever but this ain't for that this is a reading for the fire signs nevertheless it says here on your journey others may indicate what path you should take and why see they do it to me all the time trying to tell me what I should do just because I look young and I giggle and I got this glow and radiance upon me because of the truth People think they could tell me what the fuck to do. And I'm 59 years old. Yeah. Native don't crack. Native don't crack. And I got a little black in me too. But I am made up. The majority is native. I'm going to sit with that for a moment. Excuse me. Nevertheless putting on my glasses because I need to get off of here um it says that where was I others will indicate what path that you should take 
and why. You can listen to their advice like I do. But most of the time, I don't take it. Because most of the time, hell, they ain't spent enough time in the presence of God getting anything for their life. So how the hell are they going to tell me what to do in mine? That's just me. You can listen to their advice. However, if your heart indicates another way, follow that. There's a place inside of yourself that always knows the truth. Take the time to be still to discover the genuine place of knowing within. Often the hardest thing about living your truth is discovering what it is. So it's important to slow down, be quiet, and listen to the whispers of your soul. Because sometimes it's hard for you to discover what is really true and what you ought to know. So you have to take time to be still to discover this. It also says here that if there is an area of your life in which you're not being authentic, let's sit with that for a moment, shall we? Are there any areas of your life, fire signs, I mean, yeah, fire signs, that you're not being authentic? I don't know why I'm picking this up for Sagittarius. Because sometimes y'all could say some shit that y'all want some shit like relationships, but y'all don't really be wanting that shit because y'all don't be wanting to settle down. Now, I don't know about the women, but my experience with the men, you say you want to be with me, but where the hell you at? <laughs> That's what y'all do. Some of y'all. No judgment. But it says here, if there's an area of your life in which you're not being authentic or where you're not in integrity, I didn't say it. Spirit said it to the author of the dead. Where you're not in integrity with your values. This is the time to make some changes. We're going to leave it at that. You need to discover some truth about your damn self. Sorry, this is all in love. Okay? Really it is. But. It's time that we examine ourselves. Because let me tell you, people don't like it when I give them a truth. Oh, you're judging me. This is, you're judging me. I just had that recently. You're judging me. No, I'm not judging you. I just judging you the truth. And you don't like the truth. No matter if I say it nice or if I say, get your shit together. You can't handle the truth. Because the truth cuts and people don't like it no matter how you give it to them it hurts they're in their feelings oh oh you're so insensitive fuck that shit the truth is the truth excuse me i'm gonna go ahead and close because i'm getting in the flesh and my ego self all right love you guys smooches reach out to me social media inspirational life guru that is me I'm a guru when it comes to this shit. 